Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is just a get ready with me testing out a bunch of new products that I recently picked up on the Look Fantastic website along with a few things from Sephora. We are going to just kind of chit chat chill, laid back, play with new makeup. Like those are kind of my favorite videos to film. I am kind of playing around with the Chantecai. Uh, let's see, this is the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer and the Chantecai Future Skin Cushion Foundation. Uh, these were on sale on the Look Fantastic website, which is such a great time to pick up stuff like this from Chantecai. I also have the new Rare Beauty palette, this one right here. I've had it for a while and I've wanted to kind of dive in and play around with it. Uh, and I also have a new liquid bronzer, and no, it's not the Chantecai liquid bronzer that I'm obsessed with. It's this new one from uh, Iconic London. Lots to say about this. I also picked up, I didn't need it, you guys, but I also picked up one, I only grabbed one, of the Melt Cosmetics cream blushes. <laughs> So we have that to talk about. Uh, and then I picked up several new lippies. Some of them I got from Look Fantastic and others I picked up during the Sephora sale right at the end. So that's what we're doing in today's video, you guys. I will be doing kind of a wear test. I mean, obviously you guys know I like to review, when I'm reviewing foundations, I like to do, you know, three or four day wear tests and stuff. But this is just kind of a first impressions on the tinted moisturizer and the future skin cushion foundation uh but i will be kind of doing like a daylight check-in so you guys can see what these look like in natural daylight and then i will come back later on this evening and show you guys what it looks like i'll probably only be able to wear these for eight to ten hours because i got a late start today but that's okay so that's what we're doing in today's video you guys without further ado let's just go ahead and jump straight into the applications and of course i will see you guys all in my final thoughts okay. so let's go ahead and dive into all these new products we're gonna first start with the complexion and i got two products that i wanted to kind of try out and as you can see my face is a little bit more tan as it normally is as many of you guys know i have been testing a lot of fake tans when I tell you I've been testing fake tans, uh, for the body, I'm up to about 11 of them. And for the face, I'm at like three. So I wanted to test more fake tans on the face because my last test on a face tanner didn't work very well. So this one, uh, I was a little bit nervous about. So I'm looking a little bit bronzy right now, but that's okay. I have high hopes for this face tan, by the way. With summer coming, I've been wanting to do a full uh, self tanner video and like body makeup video. And I've been testing a lot of products. So that video will be coming. It's just taken me a long time because self tanners, it takes like a week to test one product, right? So lots to say. We're going to start with the two products that I picked up from Chantecai. I actually grabbed these on the Look Fantastic website. Lately, I've been buying a lot of like these high-end products from Look Fantastic because the shipping is always great and they have really good products on there and they always seem to have sales, like 15, 20% sales. So I always jump on them when I see them. So this is called the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer from Chantecai. And then this is the Future Skin Cushion Foundation from Chantecai. Now I bought these in the shade Wheat, both of them, but I've been on the hunt to try to find a really good tinted moisturizer for the summer. I also have a vacation coming up that I'm gonna talk to you guys about that I'm excited to share. We've done everything we can to prepare for our summer trip this year. In fact, I was actually sick over the weekend because I got my second round of vaccination and ooh, I did not feel good. The first shot wasn't bad, like my arm was a little sore, but it wasn't bad, but the second shot, it was like two days later, I did not feel good. And it was for two days. I just did not feel good. I was really tired, kind of scratchy throat, just didn't feel the best. And then I woke up the next morning and I felt like normal person. It was crazy. So this has 50 grams worth of product. It's 1.7 ounces. So I want to kind of do some um, spot concealing with a concealer before I go in with the tinted moisturizer, but I want to make sure that they're similar in shade. Okay, so this is Dune from Hourglass, the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, and then this is Wheat, so they're very similar. If you're doing any kind of spot concealing with a tinted moisturizer, you want to make sure that your concealer is pretty well the same shade as your foundation, just so that it doesn't throw it off. You definitely don't want it 
as light as you would put underneath your eyes or something. So I'm just gonna take the Vanish Concealer from uh, Hourglass in the shade Dune, and I'm just gonna kinda go over my texture areas and any of my like hyperpigmentation places that I want more coverage. And then I'll go over top of it with the tinted moisturizer. So vacation. So it's technically really not a vacation. It's more of a family trip. Uh, and we'll stay at our condo in St. Augustine. We've all been, you know, we've got the vax. We're all trying to be safe. We're all trying to find a way to do it safely. And look how that shade just melts right into the skin, right? Uh, and, you know, we're not going to be going to parks or anything like that. It's not like we're going to Disney World or Sea World or anything, but we wanted to go and see our family. I mean, last year, my 16-year-old uh, nephew passed away right when lockdown started. We didn't really know, you know, what was happening at the time, and he passed away, and we were unable to attend the services, which was awful. Um, and my husband hasn't seen his mother. I mean, she's 83 years old. He hasn't seen her for... Gosh, it's been two years now. So it's time for us to find a way to go and visit them and but do it safely. And so even though you have the vaccinations, you still have to be safe, right? I'm gonna take the tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna do this while I'm talking. Let's see if I can do this and talk at the same time. So I'm gonna take about this much on the back of my hand. And I am going to just kind of buffly, buffly. I'm just gonna buff this into the skin with this brush and just see how it looks. Okay, so we are going to be gone for three and a half weeks. So of course I will have some uh, content up at that time. I'm gonna be doing some pre-filming all this month. I'm gonna be pre-filming because we're leaving the end of May. And I not only wanna have content up and ready to go, but I also thought about maybe doing some vlogging while we're there. Um, I don't really have much of a life, to be honest with you, so I don't really vlog all that much. Uh, so I thought, I mean, don't get me wrong, we're not going to any of the parks or anything, but we will basically just be hanging out at the beach and at the pool with our family. That's pretty much all we're doing. <laughs> uh, and at the end of the day, we're grateful to be even doing that. My thought was I was going to put the tinted moisturizer on this side and then the Chantecaille Future Skin on this side. Uh, but this looks really pretty. It looks really natural and it really melted into the skin really easily. That Chantecaille, when you buy it, you get this and then you get a refill. So you get basically two refills, one that's already in here and then you have one on backup. So I'm just taking the brush and going down in there. And I feel like it would be fun to kind of, you know, just take you guys along with me. Um, I don't know. Let me know. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know if that would be something you guys would be interested in. Like I said, we're not doing anything too major or too fun, but we are gonna be spending time at the beach and the pool. My husband is so excited to see his family. I mean, he's like, it's been two years since, I mean, it's been two and a half years since we've seen his family and he's just, he's ready. Like he is so ready. And I'll be honest with you, I plan to truly protect my skin as much as possible because I have worked so hard to get my hyperpigmentation under control. And when I go back to my old videos after we got back from the trip in uh, 2019, whoo, you guys, my, oh, my hyperpigmentation was bad. It was out to play. I even come home and got a laser treatment because it was so bad. Um, and I just don't wanna do that again. I don't wanna screw my face up. So I don't know that I'm gonna be wearing a lot of makeup, to be honest with you. I'm planning on wearing a massive amount of sunscreen and a tinted moisturizer. Uh, and I'm also probably gonna wear a hat to try to keep my face covered. They both look so beautiful on the skin. It looks really beautiful. And obviously going in with the concealer before gave me the coverage that I needed. So that all I needed to do from that point was just kind of fill in the gaps. I don't know, I like both of these products though. I really do. And I feel like they've both kind of dried and set down. This cushion foundation is really pretty. I can see why people have been really enjoying it. I've heard a lot about it and I can see why people love it. It's really pretty. I mean, it's just really natural and, and I didn't have to go, I didn't have to worry about using so much of it to build my coverage. 
to cover up my texture because I just used a concealer to do that. So far, so good. Both of these are really pretty products. I probably won't wash my makeup off till after midnight, so I'll at least be able to wear this eight or nine hours. Now, you guys know I have fallen hard for the Chantecaille Liquid Bronzer. I love this. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop using it. I need a backup of it as soon as it comes back into stock. You can also get this on the, on the Look Fantastic website along with the blushes. I, I will link them down below. The blushes are fantastic. I did pick up this. This is a new product. This is from Iconic London. You can actually get this on the Sephora website. Uh, I got this on the Look Fantastic website. This is also a liquid bronzer. You can actually pick this up in several shades. So I think that's the downside to the one from Shantakai. It only comes in one shade and I, they need more shades of this. It is buildable or you can apply a tiny bit. If you have a darker complexion, this is only gonna go so far. This one from Iconic London has six shades. I picked up the shade Golden Hour. This retails for 25 on the Sephora website. You can pick this up on the um, Look Fantastic website for $24.90, but it looks like there's only two shades left on the Look Fantastic now. So this is the Chantecai, and it's like a gel formula. This is the one from uh, Iconic London. Obviously, this one's much warmer than this, but we're gonna try it today. The one from Iconic London is just a little bit cheaper than the one from uh, Chantecai. The one from Iconic London is $2.08 per milliliter, and the one from Chantecai is $2.20, so it's just a little bit cheaper. So I'm gonna put a little bit here on the back of my hand. I'm gonna start out with about this much. So I like to take it and kind of mix it into the bristles of my brush, and then I like to apply it on the cheek. This is like a sheer formula because I don't feel like I have much on. Hold on, let me put some on the forehead. Yeah, this is more of a sheer formula where it doesn't really have a lot of color. I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I'm going to take a little bit of the Chantecaille and I'm gonna put it on this other side. So you can kind of see the difference between the way that they apply. It's definitely a warmer bronzer though, so you know, you gotta kinda keep that in mind, but. It just blends out so beautifully. Okay, so this is the Chantecai, which kinda just gives me that overall warm, kind of bronzy look. And then this is the Iconic London. And I know that the Iconic London is described as a sheer formula. Uh, it is called the Sheer Bronze. This is described as tan. Let me go in with a little bit more and see if I can build it up. I'm gonna wipe the brush off one more time and get off the Chantecai. Just see if I can build this. Okay, so it's, it's building. Maybe letting it dry you know, but I applied, this is probably the third or fourth coat. So the problem is I'm going to have to apply quite a bit of it, which will make me run through it faster. So I don't know that I love this. Um, it definitely, I definitely still prefer my Chantecaille over this one. Now, a lot of people like to layer their products, especially in the summer. The more that you layer, the more uh, that your makeup will last and stay on, right? It's all about layering. If you're looking for something to layer, uh, you could put this down first and then put your powder bronzer over top of it to kind of layer it. But for me, on a personal level with my skin tone and stuff, I just love the Chantecaille because it made my skin look like that sun-kissed, but it's so natural. It's definitely what it is, though. It's described as a sheer bronzer, and it's not lying when it says it's sheer. So Okay, we're going to move on to the blush that I also picked up from Melt. So many people have talked about these Melt blushes. And I, of course, bought it in my favorite orangey shade because I can't help myself. These are the Melt Cosmetics, uh, let's see, these are called the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light. And I got this in the shade California Dream, or Cali Dream is what it's called. I'm going to put some of this on. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Ooh, I like that. Smells good too. It smells like, I can't think of what it smells like. It reminds me of like, like a Barbie doll or something or a Cabbage Patch Kid. 
That's what it smells like. It smells like a pa Cabbage Patch Kid. Do you guys remember pa Cabbage Patch Kids? I was a huge fan of them when I was a little girl. And that's, oh my gosh, that's what it reminds me of. Wow, that's so cool. This is beautiful. I mean, it blends right into the skin. I can see why people love these. These are so pretty. Now, is this something that I needed? No, I have plenty of cream blushes, but I mean, I had to try the formula because everybody's talked about it. It has enough pigment, but it doesn't have a lot of shine where it like lifts the foundation or it makes any of the foundation from underneath kind of pop through. So I really like this. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. I picked up this palette from Rare Beauty. So we're gonna try it on. So I wanna first grab this peachy shade right here. I don't think I've ever used mattes from them. I think I've only had their shimmer palettes, if I'm not mistaken. That's a really pretty peachy color though. And I'm getting pretty good pigment. Even though I do have self-tanner on, I'm getting good pigment. My golden retriever is snoring. Hmm. I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here just to add a little bit of depth. And then I'll go back into the peachy shade and use the peach shade to kind of blend it out. Okay, I'm also gonna take a flat definer brush. I'm gonna go into that dark shade and I'm gonna sweep that out here on the lower lash line. I'm also going to take that the brush and kind of add it directly out here on the outer corner on the upper lash line just to add the depth. This uh, brown shade isn't blending quite as easily as I would hope. I like the color that it's creating and the definition. You just kind of have to work to kind of blend out that purple color that I put on. Now, let's go into this shade. I want to see what this shade right here looks like. I'm going to take the Smith 253 brush, which by the way, I've been really enjoying this brush to apply like shimmer shadows it's just it works so good and it kind of fits right there into that inner corner because of the shape i got it from beautylish i'm gonna sweep it up and into the crease right here i think i want to bring that on the crease just a little bit so i'm going to take uh the mini booster from sonia g and i'm going to tap off and lightly bring that right over top of those mattes here on this outer corner in the crease. Now I don't think I'm gonna use the glitter because I'm not a big fan of glitter, but I am gonna swatch it and see how it swatches. So here's the big glitter. So let's see. That's a really good glitter. I learned that trick from Tati. When you go to swatch a glitter and if you press down and you swipe it, if, you still have a lot of it remaining on your finger, it's not gonna be a good glitter. But if the most of it comes together like that in a ball and it swatches really smooth, then that is a good glitter. Uh, so you can tell, I mean, look, I keep running my finger and it's staying place. So you can tell that's a good glitter. I'm not really in the mood for glitter, but based on swatching it, it swatches the way you'd want glitter to swatch. So I think I'm gonna deepen this outer corner up just a little bit. So I'm gonna take the smudge brush from BK Beauty, it's the 204, and I'm gonna grab this shade right here. I am going to focus this right here on the outer corner. Okay, so I went ahead and threw on some mascara, and this is just kind of fun and summery. Like it's, I'm feeling the summer vibes. Let's move on to the lips. So I also picked up this from the Look Fantastic. This is the Lip Definer. Uh, from Shantakai in the shade Tone. So we're gonna put this on, and I think it might actually match the whole eyeshadow look, we'll see. So I've never used a lip liner from Shantakai before, by the way. You get good pigment from it, and it works really good. I like this color. 
I also picked up this lip sheik. Uh, I really like these lip sheiks. I've talked about them before. This is in the shade Rose de Ma, Rose de May. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but uh, this is really pretty. So the packaging is super, super pretty on this. Magnetic, like all of their packaging is. And you guys know that I don't always love everything from Chantecaille, and I don't always think that a lot of their products are worth the price, but like the lip sheiks I really love. The bronzers and liquid, you know, the liquid bronzer blush highlights I really love. So I'm finding things that I really, really like. And there's also those products that I just think are extremely overpriced. But I really like their lip sheets. These, this is really, really pretty. So let's put this on. That's pretty. Now that is a pretty lip. That's the lip color and it's so pretty. And I don't necessarily think that you need the lip liner with it. I uh, I mean it's it's really pretty. I think the lip I think the lip liner just kind of adds a little bit of dimension around the edges. This is a really pretty lippy. Okay, you guys, that's it for all the application of all the products. I love the way everything turned out. I feel like it's just kind of summery and I'm, you know, it's all about like the skin and it's just got like a healthy glow to it. So I'm not mad at this. It's not the best to wear in like in front of lighting like this because the lighting can kind of reflect. But next time you guys see me, I will be outside in natural daylight. I want to show you guys what all of this looks like in natural daylight. But I am curious how this and this will compare uh, side by side because now that I have my rest of my makeup on, I think they both looked really good. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't really build up a lot of coverage with both of them because I did use my concealer to kind of cover up parts of my face that I wanted covered, but I think that's what I like about a tinted moisturizer. I don't want to put too much on, uh, so if I can use a good concealer that's got good coverage that matches my skin tone uh, to give me the coverage and then I can put something like this on and be out the door and, and have my skin look really pretty. That's what I'm kind of looking for, especially with summer coming and getting ready to go on vacation. So let's go ahead and go outside, show you guys what this looks like in natural daylight. Then we will jump into the swatches and comparisons and then I will come back later on this evening. It'll probably be like one in the morning and I will give you guys the full thoughts and the full rundown on everything that I used. So I will see you guys then. So I wanted to pop outside really quick and show you guys how everything is looking. It's only been on for about four hours. It's currently almost seven o'clock at night, but if I don't do it now, I will lose daylight. And I really wasn't planning to do like a full check-in, right? So I didn't, I got a really late start on starting my makeup and I think I got done with my makeup fully around three. So it's only been on for about four hours. Um, but I really, normally I try to plan better for this, but I wanted you guys to see what this looks like in natural daylight. But if I don't do the check-in now, I will miss my opportunity because it will go dark and I'm starting to get cold. It's a little chilly out here. Let's zoom in. Everything is looking really good though. The blush hasn't worn off. Uh, this is the tinted moisturizer side, and then this is the cushion foundation side, and it's looking really pretty. It's wearing really nice. Let's zoom in really close. This is the tinted moisturizer side. And then this is the cushion foundation side. That lippy though, I haven't touched it since I put it on. <laughs> It's faded, but I haven't touched it. So I that's why I like about it. I mean, it's been on for four hours. Technically, but I haven't ate though. So, you know, I will be eating here in the next half hour, so it might wear off by then. But um, this is what the forehead's looking like. Now I didn't put any powder on, so you guys norm you guys know that I normally use my um hourglass translucent setting powder and I didn't do that today. So I am a little bit shiny. I'm a little bit glossy, but I'm okay with that. These products are very skin-like, so that's kind of why I decided not to put any translucent setting powder on. But So I'll wear this for about nine hours. I'll come back down. I'll go back down uh, in the beauty room and film probably around midnight, like a check-in at midnight, and show you guys what this is looking like. So my little dog in the mirror <laughs> here in the window, he's, so, he's like, why can't I come out? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> he is so cute, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Look at that.
that serious look on his face. My eyes are starting to water. It's windy out here, and I don't know if you guys have that, but I have that problem where if it the wind blows, my eyes water. Anyways, that's it for this quick check-in. It's a little cold out here. It's like 50 degrees out, so it's quite, it's kind of chilly, but that's it for this check-in. So I will see you guys tonight in my final thoughts. Okay, everyone, I am back to give my final thoughts on everything that I used today. It is almost midnight. It's been on about nine hours, so I feel like this is a pretty decent wear test. It's not my favorite wear test. You guys know I like to wear things longer, but I have to say that these have both worn very, very beautifully. Uh, even, like, the concealer underneath, um, these just... These look really beautiful. Don't get me wrong, the self-tanner does help. So I wanna make that clear. I gotta put some lip stuff on. I'm gonna put this on because it's so pretty. Uh, the self-tanner does help, it really does. Self-tanner will just give you just a little bit of color and a little bit of something. So, you know, full disclosure, self-tanner does help. But these both look very beautiful. I've lost some of it around my nose area and right under here but the thing is is that they've worn off so naturally and i'm okay with that because we all know that foundation and tinted moisturizers and stuff i mean they're gonna wear they're gonna wear down but it's how they wear down that matters to me so i'm okay with losing it around along here but as long as it's just not like pulling away from the skin and looks bad these both look so beautiful on my skin right now it's hard to say which one i like the best out of the two um, I don't know. I kind of feel like the tinted, the tinted moisturizer worked really beautifully over top of my texture on this side. Um, maybe a little bit better than the, uh, what is this called? The cushion foundation. All right. So I'm also going to turn down the ring light so you guys will see it. Uh, so now I just have the two box lights sitting in front of me and then I have like one kind of spotlight. I film in my basement. It's a finished basement, but it's still a basement. So I, my room lighting is obviously not going to be the best, but as you can see, this is the cushion side and you can kind of see it lifted a little bit. Um, like it kind of laid a little bit weird over the concealer, whereas the tinted moisturizer did not do that. So the tinted moisturizer side looks very smooth and very beautiful. Both of them look really good on the forehead though. Like I'm not seeing any weirdness where I put the concealer. You can see they both kind of broke apart around here, but in a pretty natural way. With both of these complexion products, they don't have the best shade range. So you're gonna be very limited as to what shade you are able to purchase. And with both of these, I think the closest that you can get to your skin is the best because it, as it starts to break away, uh, you don't want it you don't want it to be too dark or too light you want it to kind of break away but break away very naturally so both of these are matching my skin really good and because I do have a self tanner on it's you know making it a little bit even that much better so there was a new sale on Bergdorf Goodman's website I went ahead and picked up the La Mer cushion foundation so I'm thinking about comparing this Chantecai to the La Mer so as soon as the La Mer comes, I will compare them and see how they work. I'm kind of excited to see it. Uh, so be on the look for that. I will continue to wear this and this. And in that video, when I compare this to the La Mer, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on this one. I mean, I am glowy, but the deal is 
you guys know I didn't powder that much and you can see that I'm glowy but I'm not like sticky and dewy and I hardly powdered at all. I took a lightweight powder and kind of lightly dusted. I didn't use my translucent setting powder and kind of buff everything in. I didn't do any of that. So for this to look this good without using my translucent setting powder, that's a good thing. That's a good sign. So both of these I feel like are really good products, but I can't fully 100% recommend them because I just haven't had enough time to determine that. I, you guys know I like to be thorough. Let's talk about the Iconic London Bronzer. Not my favorite. It is sheer. So like I mentioned several times, I it, it is exactly what it is. If you want, if you're somebody that's looking for that layering effect, for example, with summer coming, um, a lot of makeup artists will recommend layering your products, meaning putting on a liquid bronzer and then putting on a powder bronzer over top of it uh, just to make the makeup last that much longer. So if you're looking for a very lightweight, sheer bronzer that gives you something so you can go over top of it with your bronzer, that's a, uh, this is a great product for that. But if you're wanting a full bronze just with this, I don't know if it's gonna give it to you unless you go with a really dark shade. Because I chose shade tan. I felt like I got more color uh, from the Chantecaille than I did this, so just FYI. The blush though, do you guys see this blush? It's still on and it still looks beautiful. This blush is a awesome product. I can see why people love these. These are awesome. Uh, the blush is A+. A++. Fantastic. Now, I don't feel like it's any better than some of my other blushes that I love. But for example, I love the liquid blushes from Chantecaille. The cream blushes from LYS, one of my favorite formulas. Um, let's see. The Tower 28. Fantastic. Uh, the Patrick Ta like, cream and powder duos. Fantastic. So this is another fantastic product. It gives you really good uh, pigment, uh, but it doesn't disrupt what's underneath. One thing I don't like about a cream blush is if it's too glossy or too shiny and it becomes a little bit translucent and it kind of starts to make all of the imperfections from underneath come through, which I don't like that. Or I've had many times a cream blush will uh, disrupt the foundation underneath and I don't like that either but this didn't do that it's absolutely beautiful a plus on that um, the palette I really I mean can you see this looks really good nine hours later I like this palette I really do is it fully necessary no I kind of already have these colors in the tart tartlet juicy palette the Amazonian clay which I still love that palette by the way uh, so I still have these colors in that palette. I wouldn't suggest it unless you like glitter. If you don't like glitter, I wouldn't buy this because I think you have this color story in other palettes. The lip liner from Chantecaille, I mean, it's a lip liner. I mean, it, it's, it's just a lip liner. It's a good formula. It is a good formula, but it's a, it's a lip liner. So I don't have anything negative to say about it though. I do like it. This lip color, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I picked it up. Oh, right? That pink is just a pop and I'm here for all these pinks and oranges and oh, it makes me so happy. So those are my overall thoughts. Sound off down below in the comment section. Have you guys used any of these products that I have talked about in today's video? If you have, let us know your experience, especially with the tinted moisturizer and the cushion foundation from Chantecaille. I'm really interested to hear your guys' thoughts on these two products. So sound off down below. Let us know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.